three weeks into lockdown, some here in Shanghai are angry. In broad daylight, a confrontation. The police up against the people. Scenes like this have become increasingly unusual here, but then so is locking down almost 25 million people. Head to toe in protective suits, in an eastern district of the city, officers were forcing people out of their rented apartments so they could turn them into temporary quarantine facilities, all in the name of a war against a resurgent COVID. But for some, it was just too much. Their homes sequestered, their desperation easy for all to hear. A few miles away, there was an organized protest, a bold stand as the lockdown takes hold. In a country where you can be arrested for picking quarrels, they're angry about a local school being turned into another quarantine facility. Police with riot shields forced them off the streets in the end. This was on a small scale, but it's a sign of anger and frustration as this lockdown goes on. Larger scale social unrest is what the ruling Communist Party fears the most and would likely tolerate the least. Robin Brandt, BBC News, Shanghai.